In this video, we'll be guiding you through the creation of a feature section made using the Flex Layouts capabilities within Quark Express 2019. So before we get started, let's take a look at our finished product. Our design is simple, but you can see when I resize the window how the layout responds to the changes of the canvas, and how those items on the canvas continue to interact with one another. So to get started, we'll create a new project and make sure our document type is set to Flex. The Layout Blocks palette is sort of the building blocks of your Flex layouts. This is where we will begin building our layout. Layouts are the base of your design. They are a special arrangement of rows and their containers to provide basic page structure for your document. This will build the initial frame for all your work to live within. You can see there are a few different basic templates that you can start with, but these are fully customizable once they're on your canvas. Let's go ahead and drag and drop a layout from our Layout Blocks palette onto the canvas. The template I've chosen has a header, body, and footer section. Now, I'd like to split my center container into two columns. You can see when I select the box, it displays how the container is nested within its parent's container all the way to the root in this breadcrumb hierarchy. You can see here I have a column selected. I can go ahead and duplicate this selection, and now there will be two columns existing in that row in that container, in that root container. This ability of nesting other container boxes allows us to create deep layout hierarchies, which helps view our designs as a collection of many layouts. Next, we can move over to the Components tab of our Layout Blocks palette, and then drag and drop a component into our layout. This will help us continually organize our layout into smaller and smaller subdivisions. Components are special columns that hold an arrangement of content element boxes, like picture and text boxes. Once the component is added to the layout, you can delete containers by selection or edit the block's text, pictures, margins, and more. For now, I'm going to bring over some text from another document and then style that manually. If you're interested in learning more about style sheets, check out our other videos on the Quark Learning Library. Alright, now that I'm happy with my text, I'd like to make an adjustment to the container around this body text. The containers are a bit taller than I'd like, so I'm going to go into the Flex tab on my Measurements palette and go ahead and set the minimum height to None. Now that I've gotten these boxes completed, I'd like to add some padding at the bottom here so that my containers have some vertical space between them. To add that spacing, or padding as it's called, I'm going to select the column I want to add to. Then in my Measurements palette, I'm going to switch over to the Container tab. You can now see there is a portion of the Container tab that is dedicated to padding. Enable padding on the selection by changing the pixel amount in one of the four windows. If you don't want your padding to be equal on all sides, check the box at the top of the menu to enable individual padding controls. Padding is an effective tool to help align different content boxes in a responsive layout. Now let's go back to the Layout Blocks palette and choose a section from the list. Sections are rows that provide special column arrangements to help us build document layout structure. The pre-comp I'm choosing is a single subdivision. I'll drag this straight into my selected row, and you can see now how the Layout Blocks window will show the breadcrumb hierarchy of the layout and how there is now a new row added. Next, I'll go back to Components and add in another pre-comp to divide this container yet again. As I only need two text containers inside this column, we can go ahead and select the bottom container and delete it. I'm going to fill this in with text and format the text in containers. Now, with the column that holds this new section selected, I want to duplicate the item four times, so we are left with four identical columns in that row. Finally, we can place an image in our other container by using the Command E shortcut or going up to the File menu with the container selected and choosing the Import function. And there you have it. You've got your completed layout, and you can see how it rearranges the components based on your device size. When you're ready, you can preview your design in a browser window by going to the bottom left corner of your Quark Express window and selecting the Preview HTML5 Publication option. This will open up a browser window for you to experience your layout in a responsive environment. Stay tuned in our YouTube channel and Quark Learning Library for new content, or for more information on Quark Express and Flex layouts, check out quark.com support.